In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the price of a bond in Excel. The current price of a bond is found by calculating the sum of the present value of its remaining coupons and principal. In our example, we have a bond which has a face value of £100, a coupon rate of 7%, 5 years to maturity, and a yield to maturity of 5%. There are two ways we can calculate the price of this bond in Excel. Firstly, we can do it manually by building a calculation table. The second way is to use the present value function, which calculates the price automatically. Let's start with method one. First, we calculate the payments we receive from the bond each year. As shown in the formula below, we will receive just the coupon in the first four years and in the final year, we receive the coupon plus the principal. Therefore, in year one, we take the coupon rate and multiply this by the par value of the bond to give the coupon. Before we drag this across, let's add absolute references to ensure the calculation remains static. As mentioned earlier, in year five, we'll add the principal to the coupon. Next, we need to calculate the present value of each of these annual coupon payments. We can calculate this by taking the coupon payments and dividing it by one plus the yield to maturity to the power of the year. Let's add absolute references to the yield to maturity to ensure this remains static. Now that we have all the individual present values, we can add these up to give the price of the bond. To do this, we can use the sum function. Therefore, the price of the bond is approximately £108. So that's how you can manually calculate the price of the bond. The second method we'll explore involves using the present value function. We type equals PV First enter the rate, which is 5%, followed by the years to maturity. We then add the coupon payments, which is the coupon rate multiplied by the par value. And finally, we enter the par value. As you can see, this gives the same bond price as the one returned earlier. Note that the value is negative because Excel treats payments as negative values. To make it positive, we can simply add a negative sign in front of the function. Also notice that our bond price is greater than the par value. This is because the coupon rate is greater than the yield to maturity. If we use a coupon rate which is lower than the yield to maturity, then the bond price drops below the par value. In other words, investors will only be willing to pay a price below par. And finally, if we have a coupon rate which is the same as the yield to maturity, then the bond price is exactly the same as the par value. Therefore, to summarise, the higher the coupon payments, the higher the price of the bond. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.